Hello friends welcome to my channel this is Charan in this video I will show you how to get the last inserted record ID in MVC and here we got the final output I'm entering the name Charan Charan at gmail.com create see here we got the message the last inserted record is one let's check in the database execute and see here we got the results the ID is one the e name is a charan and email is a charan at gmail.com let's insert a, another record jack jack at gmail.com see the message the last inserted record is 2 execute see the last id record is 2 and the employee name is jack if you are a first time visitor to my channel please subscribe to get the latest updates before writing the coding part in MVC, first we will check the table and the column names. Just for the time saving, I have created a new table which contains the three columns ID, ename and email. And ID is the auto generated column. When a user inserts the values, I want to display the newly created ID on the browser. Let's open a Visual Studio. For this video tutorial, I am creating a new MVC project. Go to File, New, Project. I am selecting ASP.NET Web Application and the .NET Framework is 4.6.1. And the project name is Get Lost ID. Okay. And from the templates, I'm choosing MVC4. Okay. And here the project is successfully created. Let's close this window. Open Solution Explorer. First, in this project, I'm adding ADO.NET Entity Model. Right click the project. Add. ADWord.NET Entity Data Model, click that one and the model name is Lost ID Model, okay and from the model contents I am choosing the first one next I am creating a new connection I'm adding my SQL server name. After adding the server name, I'm selecting the database name, which is a sample DB. Test connection is succeeded. Okay, okay. And I want to save this connection string in the web.config file. Next. I am expanding the tables as well as the DBO. The table name is the EMP. I am selecting that one. Click finish. And here we got the data entity model is binded with EMP table. Go to Solution Explorer. I'm minimizing the references. I'm creating a class in this models folder. Right click that one. Add class. And the class name I'm giving ID add 
Now in this ID class, I'm creating a public properties. Public int ID get set. The second property I'm adding for the employee name public string ename get set. And the last one we have email public string email get set. After adding the properties into this class, now I'm creating a new controller, Open Solution Explorer. In this controllers folder, right click that one, add controller. I'm choosing MVC5 controller empty, add EMP lost ID, add. And here we got the controller also. The first thing I'm I'm adding the model's namespace using the project name is a get lost id dot models. After adding the models into the project, the next thing I'm creating a new action result of index, which is the HTTP post. In this index method, I'm adding my table name, which is EMP. I'm adding the connection string sample DB. SD is equals to new sample DB entities. I just created the object for the connection string. SD dot EMP's dot add method. Now in this add method, I'm adding E SD dot save changes. After saving the newly inserted record, I want to display message on the browser. For that, I'm using view data. Message is equals to the last inserted record is plus e dot I'm adding id and the return view is e that's it we have done the coding part in the controller also let's build this solution before creating the index view page and here we got the message build succeeded let's close this output window I right click the index add view the view name is the index only and the template I'm selecting create the model class which is the EMP the class name is and the data context class is a sample DB entities which is a connection string I'm selecting that one and add and here we got the index view page also and the controls are created automatically when I choose and create so after the submit button I'm adding horizontal line h1 at HTML dot I am adding this view data message that's it we have done the complete coding part but before run this application we need to change the controller name open solution explorer app underscore start I'm expanding that one I'm opening route config.cs open that one the controller name is a home which is a default one but I'm adding my controller which is a EMP last ID and the action result is the index only so I'm not changing anything in this action 
switch back to the index.cshtml google chrome and here we got the final output I'm entering the name charan charan at gmail.com create see here we got the message the last inserted record is 1 let's check in the database execute and see here we got the results the id is 1 the e name is a charan and email is a charan at gmail.com now let's insert another record jack jack at gmail.com see the message the last inserted record is 2 execute see the last id record is 2 and the employee name is jack that's it